Greetings, Royal Family. Thanks for clicking on the video. I'm back. You're back. Welcome back to the great value version of Girlfriends, aka Sister. So this is episode three. Yeah, I'm a little bit behind on purpose, okay? I was hoping that this show would pick up some momentum, but then again, who are who are we kidding here? It's it's sisters, okay? So episode three opens up with Zach, right? Zach retrieves this mystery passenger's laptop. She left it on the plane that she just, uh, you know, departed from, right? So she hands Zach this card that contains stock tips. I said, what, what, Tyler, where are you going with this storyline? <laughs> What's this now? Okay. So after she hands him the card, uh, with, uh, with stock tips on it, he was looking for some, some money, some Benjamins, you know what I'm saying? Um, she tells him to invest in this particular stock immediately she offers him help said that look you can invest all your money i will help you and i said this is a straight set up what what is this but i was curious to see where this storyline was going but let's put that on pause we shift gears to the bank where absolutely no one works right where sabrina and maurice act like they work so Sabrina, she's still acting like a toddler. Uh, Jacoby, he enters her office. You know, he needs some help with whatever it is he's supposed to be doing. And he's starting to plead his case about the other night, the night that they had together. So, you know, he wants to kind of, he, he's, you know, he's gung-ho that he likes her. She's like, Jacoby, what do, you, what do you want, Jacoby? You don't know how to do it yourself, Jacoby? Like, you know how these scenes are in these Tyler Perry shows, in this show in particular, long, drawn out, and unnecessary. Enough of that. Let's get back to my favorite character, Crazy Gary, right? So Gary calls Andy's office. Fatima answers the phone, and Gary wants her to go to this photo shoot that he planned for Andy. Remember the photo shoot that he planned out of nowhere? Uh, his friend, or he didn't plan it. He, he did plan it, but he's making Andy believe that, you know, Oh, this she's a last minute fill in for his photographer friend or, or whatever the heck he's supposed to be. So uh, Fatima doesn't like Gary. Right. So she agrees and she hangs up. Fatima suspects that something is up and she knows that Andy is a nitwit. Right. So she feels that she's going to have to go along to see what this is all about. So Fatima, she enters Andy's office and she is handed a phone number. Andy hands her a piece of paper with a phone number on it to a police officer whom she wants Fatima to contact to see if she can file a police report over the phone. <laughs> I said, what the, you, what, what else do you want Fatima to do? Hand wash your drawers? What, what? Anyway, Andy tells Fatima about her little photo shoot that, that Gary set up for her uh, or that Gary has, you know, set up after work. Fatima says that she doesn't trust Gary. Andy wants Fatima to not tell her the cold, hard truth, basically, right? She wants her, she wants, Andy wants to be pacified. This is why all of these sisters stand around like a bunch of pick me's coddling Andy and her piss poor decision making. But I digress. So Fatima, she offers to go with Andy. Now, remember, Gary just called her and says, don't tell Andy, but I want you to show up. Because, you know, he's got something planned, obviously. We shift gears back to the no one gives a damn and trusts a uh, bank, right? And Calvin enters the bank. I am sick. I've been sick of his char character since season one. I don't even remember what episode. He is just... Anyway, so Calvin, he enters the bank and he's pissed off. Now he's mad about his empty bank account, right? And this is what Maurice was trying to tell him before about his bank account being hacked and ripped off possibly, right? He didn't care. So basically, Calvin has to talk to Sabrina, who is, who is the manager, right? That's her role. Simple Sabrina is actually the manager of we don't do a damn thing, bank and trust, right? So... <laughs> to get this whole situation rectified. Now, Maurice knew that Jacoby was in the office with Simple Sabrina, but acted like, you know, he didn't know. You know, his character is another character that's just, 
just bad. I'll put it. I'll put it mildly. He's he's just a, just very bad, bad character. Anyway, Sabrina and Jacoby they end up walking out, and Calvin has an attitude, and so does Sabrina. So they they're face to face now, in the middle of the bank, <laughs> where customers are supposed to be. Whatever. So Calvin does not have a police report. Therefore, Sabrina cannot assist him. Calvin wants to argue. He starts cussing at simple Sabrina like he always does. Nothing new to see here, right? He always talking down to Sabrina. He's always belittling her, getting very nasty with her. Calvin tells Sabrina that she's full of S-H-I-T and refused to leave. Sabrina attempts to walk away and Calvin grabs simple Sabrina's arm. Jacoby then steps in. Calvin pushes Jacoby and Jacoby rocks his jaw with a one hitter quitter. Calvin twirled like a fairy. He squealed. He actually, he squealed, spun like a top and dropped to the ground. Okay. Death drop, honey. When I saw that, I had to pause the TV. What What is Tyler Perry doing? What is he doing? Why is he trying to confuse his audience? What What is it? Why would he squeal and spin like a fairy and drop to the ground? Like, why would, why would you get him to do that? What, what are you doing, Tyler? Ooh. Simple Sabrina ends up scolding Jacoby. And tells him to leave because he is now suspended from work. <sighs> now, although I enjoyed Calvin finally getting his jaw rocked, Sabrina's idiotic antics dampered my excitement, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe she was telling Jacoby to leave so that he doesn't get arrested. I, I don't know. But she really scolded Jacoby and she ran to Calvin's aid. He was asleep. Okay, he, he went night, night. He went night, night. <laughs> After a while, he jumped up like a dancing doll, honey. And after all that, simple Sabrina hands Calvin a paper saying that she's reversing the transaction and tells Calvin to leave. Why the hell didn't you do that from jump, simple Sabrina? Ugh! We move on to the other nitwit. Andy, okay, <laughs> she has a new client. Now, I wonder who this client's wife will end up being. So this new client is freaking out because he's afraid that his wife is going to leave him with no money. So I'm like, okay, hopefully this will connect and make sense because the plot line, it's just, it's just comical at this point. That's why I enjoy, I'm going to make myself enjoy reviewing this show because it's just one big comedy as, Right? Am I, I can't be the only one that thinks that. Anywho, Zach shows up to the office. Now, Fatima is Andy's assistant, right? You guys know that by now. So he shows up to see Fatima, and Zach is pretty much running his game. Fatima tells him, look, it's over. You know, he wants to stop by her place later. You know, Zach is really messy and immature. He's just immature as hell. Like, Fatima works for Andy, and Fatima, you know, she prides herself on being professional. So... <laughs> If Fatima would have let him, he would have gotten it in, you know what I'm saying, with, with Fatima in this little closet, just like he did at Karen's salon, right, when he went over there to talk to Karen. I can't. Zach is just feeling himself. He's confusing me. He's he's annoying. Shout out, sidebar, shout out to DeVal Ellis, who is the actor who plays Zach. Uh, he and his wife, Kadeen, are expecting baby number four. I think I talked about that in one of my morning boogies. So if you guys didn't know that, shout out to them. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that they actually have a girl because they have three boys. But anyway, back to Andy's office, right? Now, Andy is telling Fatima that she's always liked Zach, but just not for Karen. And I thought that that was absolutely messy. She, you know, she, said, she claims that she's always liked Zach, you know, but you treat Zach like he is secondhand trash or something like, I don't know, however the saying goes, secondhand clothes, what, what is it, a bald head stepchild, whatever, right? You fill in the blank. But she treats Zach like he has got the plague. Like, But she claims that she likes Zach, but she just doesn't like Zach for Karen. And I thought that that was absolutely messy to tell Fatima that. All right, so it's photo shoot time, right? So we, we see Andy. How did I know that this was going to happen? Andy is in a wedding dress being photographed. Fatima walks in. 
I said, let me find out Gary is going to strong arm her into a wedding ceremony. I said, you know what? This is so typical, right? Then in walks the other, the sisters, the other girls, right? Andy then figures out um, that Gary told the girls, you know, about the photo shoot. So the photographer suggests that the ladies try on bridesmaid dresses to join the photo shoot, right? He's willing to pay them $500 each. (laughs) <laughs> this is so freaking cheesy, yo. Do anything for a dollar, Danny, is all in. She hears $500. She's ready to jump in those bridesmaid dresses. Um, so, Zach, right, let's shift gears because I can't with this with this cheesy storyline, with this, with this photography and this wedding dress and this. I can't. So let's shift gears to Zach, right? So he really is dumber than he looks, right? So he actually visits the hotel of the lady that he met in the airport, and she offers him a drink, and he takes it. I thought that was crazy. Um, the lady, she was a little tipsy, you know, and um, she mentors her 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 husband, who is a senator, um, that is, she is getting ready to divorce. And I said, let me find out Zach is about to land himself right back in jail. Zach, run, run as fast as you can. So anyway, her soon-to-be ex-husband is part of an insider trading scheme. And Zach is still standing there in the hotel room after this lady is telling him all of this. So obviously this lady's a straight scammer, right? And she's trying to convince him to be a part of her plan to not walk out of her marriage broke, basically. Um, And it makes me wonder, like, I wonder if that client that Andy had who was afraid that his wife was going to leave him broke is the husband to this woman that Zach met at the airport whose hotel room he's now standing in, right? I wonder if there's a correlation or a connection between the two of them. Anyway, Zach says he passes um, and he heads on out. So I said, okay, good. But there's already evidence that he was there, right? Anyway. So back to Andy. Now, all the ladies are in their bridesmaids dresses, and I'm just shaking my head. Then in walks Gary, dressed in a a blue tux. I was, it was a nice cobalt blue. Blue is really his color. Y'all notice that he's been wearing a lot of blue, right? The last two seasons. Is it just me? Anyway, so he stands next to Andy, and he tells her that this is his proposal. (laughs) With a minister present. He wants to get married right now. Oh, how how unpredictable. And that's where the episode ends. What do you guys think about this? Are you keeping up with Tyler Perry's sisters? Do you think that Gary and Andy are going to get married? Will someone come in and stop this wedding? Where the heck is Jasmine? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. All right, royal family. So drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this particular episode. And stay tuned for the next episode. It's coming up soon. I'm signing off. And as always, until next time, folks. Peace.